Let's look at the inside of this triad woman's house. She says someone tossed a firebomb through the window and it scorched the place. She says the insurance company won't pay to fix it. And here we are months later and the damage remains. WFMY News 2's Marissa Tancino spoke with her tonight about what's next. This right here is part of that right there. The smell of soot and charred curtains are all that occupy this home now in southern Guilford County. I just couldn't hardly get up. I just went to crying and I couldn't stop crying. And I guess I've been crying ever since. Arliss Farlow says just before she was ready to rent this home to a tenant in April, someone threw a fiery object through the window, ruining all her hard work. This is my means of, uh, of being able to, to take care of myself in my old age. After months of battling, she says her insurance company refuses to pay to fix it. They don't pay for vandalism and they don't pay for terrorism. And he said this come under that. A report from the Guilford County Sheriff's Office rules it as arson. Farlow is a Sunday school teacher and an active member of her church. It wasn't long after that her pastor jumped into action. She borrowed everything she could to get the house ready. And now all she has is these enormous expenses that she has no way to pay. So he started a GoFundMe page to help Farlow raise enough money to fix her home and get back on her feet. I felt humble that he would even think about doing that for me. Farlow showed me a closet on the other side of her house, still covered in soot months later. The Guilford County Sheriff's Office is still looking for who's responsible.